Hello guys, and welcome to day two of my video marathon this week. And today I'm bringing you what is actually technically an older guide I made it about three weeks ago, but Armadale Soul Guide with Mage. The reason I didn't release it three weeks ago is because I was hoping I submit to somebody and hoping to get on their channel to get some extra uh, attention. But it's not a big deal because I think you guys deserve it anyway. And it's just, I think, a pretty decent guide on how to solo armadillo with mage which is a pretty unique guide i think so i hope you enjoy the requirements to use this method are 85 plus defense so you can wear ganodermic 85 plus magic so you can use a polypore staff however i'd really recommend 95 plus so you can actually hit the boss fairly consistently 88 plus summoning for a unicorn and 70 plus range so you can get into the armadillo eerie for the gear as i said it's a ganodermic method so you obviously need full Ganodermic, and I really do recommend the Polypore. You could use Storm of Armor, but it's just going to be a lot harder to make back your money. Other than that, the gear is pretty much up to you. You just do need a Zamorak item and an Armadil item. So I just use an Armadil Pendant with a switch out to the Arcane Stream and a Zamorak Cape. And I really do recommend the Zamorak Cape, even though I don't use it all the way through this video. Then the exact uh, inventory setup is really going to be up to you. This is pretty much what works for me. Um, you can obviously change out for flasks and stuff like that, but it's not necessary. And in my familiar that I have summoned, basically I have just stuff for getting kill count. So a few prayer potions, I do recommend praying during kill count. And I'll go over kill count in a second. But then also just a little bit of food to heal up after I overload. And of course my unicorn pouch. And other than that, you do need a mithril crossbow with a myth grapple. You don't need the myth crossbow, but it's just you can drop it once you get it across. And then I also have a ring of wealth switch out for the end of kills, which helps a lot in getting stuff. And then you don't need an Elijah or a Divine to do this method. However, it does help a lot. Um, a spectral or an arcane spirit shield would also work, or just a normal like blessed spirit shield. However, an Ellie or Divine does help a whole lot to do it, as you just take a whole lot less damage in general. There are two main bonuses to this method. The first is obviously you take a lot less damage because you're wearing full Ganodermic and you're praying range. So the boss attacks with range of mage and wearing full Ganodermic means you're taking a whole lot less damage from mage. The other is the amount you risk. As you can see here, I'm praying protect item and I'm only risking 1.5 mil. And obviously, that's keeping my infinity boots. So if you're using rage fires or something, you'd still be risking about the same, which is an incredibly small amount, considering most range status would be risking 20 mil plus easily. So it definitely is a much safer method and also just a lot less risky. So this is a map of the God Wars dungeon. You enter in the middle and basically you just want to run south. The little agility thing you see there is basically where you got to use your myth grapple to get across. And then the red box is where you want to get your kill count. There's a bunch of low-level AVNZs there, a few level 70s, and you just want to kill those for your kill count. You obviously need 40 kill count to do it. So obviously before you enter, you want to just pot, overload, and eat a little bit of food that you had in your terror bird and just go in. So the kill itself, Kriara attacks with mage range and melee. Obviously you want to be praying range. And... It only attacks with melee if you're not attacking it, which is one of the reasons you bring a unicorn, because when you spec with a unicorn, it doesn't interrupt your cycle of attacking, which makes it very useful against Kriara, because obviously one constantly be attacking. Now, if you do have to heal with a brew, then go ahead and just click on a brew dose once, attack the boss again, then click on a restore and attack the boss again after that. And that's basically how you want to heal. Now, if you have Dreadnips, definitely use them. They're very worthwhile. On the minions, as you can see, I basically use a Dreadnip on the melee minion. I kill the mage minion, and I kill the range minion last to make sure I'm praying range in case the boss spawns. Speaking of praying range, if you are praying, if your prayer drops, which means you're obviously not praying range, you will get, you'll basically die unless you teleport or are extremely quick at getting your prayers back up because Kriara hits incredibly hard with range, about a 600, and wearing Ganodermic, you have almost no range defense, which basically means, as I said, if you don't pray range, 
you're basically going to die. Now, so I would, with that, I'd recommend keeping your health above about 600 or so. And that way you can't get one hit really by the range, but it's still a risk. By the way, there's an armadillo chain skirt that I happened to get. Second kill of the trip, which was kind of nice. Now, if you do die, which happened to me, I actually just DC'd and I couldn't do anything about it and died. Or, you know, if your prayer drops or something like that, it is very hard to get back, which is, as I said, kind of the problem with killing Armadil. Now, you can get back if somebody blesses your grave. Um, somebody was nice enough to actually bless mine. Um, somebody that was just killing Avianzi, so you can ask there. But no guarantees. A lot of them are bots. So you'll just have to kind of be lucky. But as I said about this method, you only risk about 1.5 mil anyway. So it's not so bad if you die. Whereas if you die with other methods, you know, you lose 15, 20 mil. Um, if you're using Pernix, you're risking way more. So at the end of the day, this just risks a whole lot less. And therefore, I think it's very worthwhile. And as a comparison between mage and range, obviously range is the other method people use here. You can't use melee, so that's kind of your only two options. Now, as I said, there's a lot less risk than range, but at the same time, kills do tend to be a little bit slower than range kill would be. So that can mean you actually do take right about the same amount of damage as a range kill, just because obviously with a range kill, you kill it quickly, so you take less. But with a mage kill, you take a little bit longer, but you're taking a lot less damage because you're wearing full candle jerk. And so overall, I would say they're about equal as methods to me. Um, and I do like mage a little bit more simply because you're not getting hit as high. With range, there's the possibility that you just get comboed and like over and over and it makes it very hard to survive. With Ganodermic, that pretty much never happens. You won't get comboed like that. So that's why I do think it is a very good, valid method that I would really recommend using to a lot of people. Well, thanks for watching. I do hope it helped. Good luck at Armadil. Armadil has a lot of really good drops, like uh, the chain skirt, the chest plate, the hilt. Makes it very worthwhile to boss to go to, if you ask me. And this method is obviously very cheap and pretty effective. Um... Tomorrow will be a video on the RuneScape update, assuming it happens. And then on Wednesday will probably be the video that I thought was going to be today, um, the Make It Back From Your Hack Challenge, and then more videos throughout the week. Um, I'm going to go away this weekend, actually, as it turns out, um, up into the mountains, but I will pre-record some stuff and get videos out anyway. So... I will have this full week of one week marathon, so I do hope you subscribe for that, and please rate and comment on this video.